we're just traipsing through the forest, feeling furry and grunting and eating things that may or may not be healthy mushrooms. It is Sasquatch Sunset. If anything cries out Art House Tuesday, good Lord, it is Sasquatch Sunset. From the Zellner brothers, David and Nathan, um, they have their own wavelength. And if you are on their wavelength, you may enjoy this, but if not, you may be like, what the hell did I just watch? <laughs> we'll talk <laughs> about it here. Um, you guys subscribe because like, who's going to review Sasquatch Sunset but us? Like, clearly we have to do this. It's our mission for you. So come hang out with us. Alonzo, what's this film about? So it's a year in the life of a pod of Sasquatches. They're, you know, they're not quite <laughs> human, but they're not quite simian either. They're very much in that kind of in-between missing link territory. Uh, as they make their way through the beautiful wilderness over the course of the seasons, you know, live their day in and day out of, you know, finding food, facing off with predators, um, you know, the interpersonal relationships. And uh, as their journey proceeds, they begin to encounter some strange things, a long, flat, uh, uh, black uh, path that goes off into the horizon in both directions, uh, a tree that suddenly has an X painted on the side of it. What could this mean? What will this portend, portend for their um, future happiness and existence? Um, this is not a movie where it's about plot uh it, it is they are literally <laughs> they're always walking they're always in forward motion and they communicate mostly by grunting and shitting um and you know it buried beneath some very convincing uh you know latex makeup and and uh full body hair suits are the likes of jesse eisenberg and riley keogh and uh co-director nathan zellner and christophe zajac direct and uh or Danek, sorry and um you know you just kind of follow them around and sort of see their interactions and get a sense of how they interact with each other what their take is on the world around them periodically we'll get reaction shots from deer that i assume were shot probably when the actors weren't there in the suits but who can say um yeah th th this is this is just kind of a a, a look at you know these these creatures making their way through the world and what happens when the prospect of human interaction seems imminent. And uh, I was quite riveted by the whole thing, frankly. It's, it, it has an odd sense of humor. There is humor in it. Um, but it is a movie you have to kind of be watching for the subtleties of what are they grunting and how and towards what? <laughs> and um, yeah, you know, it, it, it's very hard to describe, but it, I think, <laughs> fully... Now you've done it. <laughs> it fully commits to what it wants to be, which is, I think, the uh, mm -hmm. high praise indeed for a movie like this. I'm so conflicted about this movie, and I'm so happy to be here with you to talk through it because I don't really know how I feel about it because my feelings really evolve from moment to moment. I love that it exists, I love that the Zellners are weirdos who make singular films and who take big chances like this and who will put major stars like Jesse Eisenberg and Riley Keough into, you know, giant head to toe fur suits and then give them zero dialogue and just have them grunt and pee and poo, as you would say. Um, and I just don't know, though, that it can sustain that premise for the entirety of it. And I realize that we're meant to recognize a humanity in these figures and increasingly recognize that it is a parable about environmentalism and what humans have done to this planet as we see them traipsing through. Um, but it just it's so languid and the the crassness of the graphic nature of the humor gets so repetitive and it's never ever as funny as i think they hope it will be um having said that there are some moments of, of slapstick that really do work some it's like out of like a silent film there's a physicality mm. to it that is very funny at times there's a musical interlude that is the highlight for a number of reasons, one of which is I love the song that they chose. And also it does not play out the way you think it might. And that's all I'm going to say. And that was a highlight. And I feel like they could have used more. 
I don't know, more oomph. It's languid to a fault um, as they wander through the forest and find things, find traces of things. One thing that they never find, though, are any kind of cast iron <laughs> products from our friends at Lodge. Because people, when they buy Lodge cookware products, take amazing care of them and don't leave them out in the forest to get rusty as I'm sure you would too if you purchased some from our link down below. We love our Lodge products. We, we use them all the time to do scrambles and fried eggs and saute vegetables. And you guys make cornbread at your house with them, mm -hmm. I know. Yes. No, it's great stuff. And uh, yeah, it will it will last you for the rest of your cooking existence. Um, you know, the, the the they will never be the missing link in your cooking evolution. Uh, <laughs> I can't believe we're going Nicely here for this done. movie. Anyway. I thought if any movie defied having an answer in the middle of it, it would be this one. But no, you proved me wrong. I'll well find one. Well played. Speaking of a missing link, you won't miss this one because it's down below in the description <laughs> to our, our link to work with Lodge products. We're happy to work with them. So mm. go check them out. Yeah. So again, the Zellners take chances. I think we liked Kumiko the Hunter. Did we not? I've never seen it actually. Kumiko the Treasure Hunter. It's, it's, I, I need to because oh, yeah, I'm a yeah. big fan of Rinko Kikuchi, but I've, I've never seen it. But you know, I, you probably did. And um, yeah, I mean, <laughs> It is a big swing, and it it does get a little repetitive. It's no hundreds of beavers. I'll put it this way, in terms of movies that are really that trying to do something difficult. I think that one's a little more consistently successful. But I think to your point about, like, why do you cast Jesse Eisenberg and Riley Keough and just have them grunt? They signed up for this. Like, I'm sure they were informed <laughs> no. at the time. You're going to be <laughs> grunting and pooping. And they were like, yes, I'm in. I, I, I accept your challenge, Zellner Brothers, you know. Um, so, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I they had fun. I'm sure it was absolutely. totally fun. Like, jumping up and down, making, making monkey noises. I'm sure they yeah. had a blast. Yeah, but I mean, like, <laughs> it, you know, but, you know, could this, could he have accomplished all of this in a 25-minute short Maybe, you know, but I think there, yeah. in a way, it sort of reminded me of if you were doing a Sasquatch mockumentary of one of those Disney nature movies that we get every spring, mm. you know, where like if you had uh, Emma Thompson saying like, looking for their watering hole, the, the Sasquatches make their way <laughs> north in the spring, you know, um, <laughs> it, it kind of follows that That'd shape, you know, in terms of, you know, the seasons and all that and the, the fact that they're just like constantly, they're never, they never settle down anywhere for too long they're always sort of moving forward moving forward um yeah I, what the what the entire point of it is i don't know i think the encroaching of man on 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 the environment obviously is in there um but i i kind of enjoyed the mystery of it of like like the the, I, the fact that they felt the need to tell this story in this way i was like all right where are we going and and did the you know i don't know if the ending necessarily blew me away but i did at least feel like they had kind of found a, a button for it all you know sasquatches they're just like us <laughs> um so what is your what is your number then <laughs> Like a seven point five, I, I I admire the chutzpah of it, even if the you know maybe more than the, the 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 end result. But I'm glad they made it. I'm glad I saw it. I think people should. If if this sounds remotely like something you would be curious about, give it a shot. I'm going to say a six. Okay. This is not for everyone. <laughs> but I, 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 I'm glad that it exists in the world. So uh, Sasquatch Sunset is already playing in limited release like New York, LA, Austin, I want to say, going wider this week and the subsequent weeks. We'll have a link to that down below so you can find them in your neighborhood forest wandering about and grunting. <laughs> 